This is Twit. On Halloween, Google's project manager, Jonathan uh, Skelker, began his blog by writing, It's Halloween and the last day of Cybersecurity Awareness Month. He wrote, so we're celebrating these occasions with security improvements across your account journey. Before you sign in, as soon as you've entered your account, when you share information with other apps and sites and the rare event in which your account is compromised. He says, when your username and password are entered on Google's sign-in page, we'll run a risk assessment and and this actually this is feeling very similar to the recapture version 3 story that we're going to also cover in more de- uh, more depth here in a minute he says we'll run a risk assessment and only allow the sign in if nothing looks suspicious mm. he said we're always yeah we're always working to improve this analysis and will now require that JavaScript is enabled on the Google sign-in page without which we cannot run this assessment. He said, chances are JavaScript is already enabled in your browser. He says, he says it helps power lots of the websites people use every day. But because it may save bandwidth or help pages load more quickly, a tiny minority of users, and he cites 0.1%, so one in a thousand, may choose to keep it off. This might make sense if you are reading static content, but we recommend that you keep JavaScript on while signing into your Google. And actually, he says recommend, but, you know, (laughs) yeah, because you can't sign in without it. So we can better protect you. You can read more about how to enable JavaScript here, and then he gives a link to you know various browsers how to turn it on. So, uh, so there was some other stuff too about uh, in, in his posting about uh, keeping your Google account secure while you're signed in. He said last year we launched a major update to the security checkup that updated that upgraded it from the same checklist for everyone to a smarter tool that automatically provides personalized guidance for improving security of your Google account. We're adding to this advice all the time, and we recently introduced better protection against harmful apps based on recommendations from Google Play Protect, as well as the ability to remove your account from any devices you no longer use. So, so okay, so in other words, Google Play Protect is now providing feedback to typically a mobile device's security checkup and will warn the user when they have anything installed that Google no longer feels is behaving honorably. Um, However, um, in some of the coverage and, and feedback, as I was digging into this a little bit, it looked, you know, there were, I saw some people saying, well, it would be nice if people were notified if they've got what essentially amounts to malware already installed rather than requiring people to go there deliberately. But I would say at this point, since this has now been added, um, anybody with an, with an Android device, it's worth doing this, this security checkup. And I took my own advice uh, because I was curious. I wanted to see what they had done. And so, you know, it's myaccount.google.com slash security hyphen checkup will get you there. And um, what I found was it's, it was interesting. Uh, it identified three issues. It, it said with your devices, with mine. And what it found was three devices that I had not used in an inordinately long time, which still had Google account stuff on them. And so it was I thought very usefully saying, hey, you know, if you're not using your Google account with these devices, eh, take it off. Um, so so there were four four categories. There was your devices and it sort of enumerated them. Then there was recent security events and it said no events in 28 days. Two-step verification and it confirmed two-step verification is on. And then third-party access. And it, it turns out there were two things 
one which I no longer needed. And I found I wasn't sure, you know, academia.edu. I was like, okay, why does that have access to my Google account? I don't know. So now it doesn't. And now only my I annotate, as, as I mentioned, is my very favorite PDF reader. It's it has access to my Google Cloud for for storing and managing PDFs there. So anyway, I would encourage our listeners to just run. If you're Google property users, uh, take this little security checkup. It's quick, um, and if you're if you're not surprised, that's wonderful. But there may be some things you want to just you know curate, as we've said. Part of being responsible is occasional curation of the the stuff that just sort of tends to ac accumulate over time because, no, you know, apps don't tend to remove themselves. They're not, oh, I'm, you know, I haven't been using my the app says to itself, haven't used my access to your Google account for a while, so I'm going to remove myself. No, they don't do that. So it's up to us. So worth doing. Um uh, oh, and also the the last thing that he said, I was curious about. So I dug into it a little bit more. And that's this helping you get back to the beginning if you run into trouble. And I thought, what? So they explain it's in the rare event that your account is compromised. Our priority is to get you back to safety as quickly as possible. We've introduced a new step-by-step -step process within your Google account that we will automatically trigger if we detect potential unauthorized activity. And then they said, we will help you. And there's four bullet points. First is verify critical security settings to help ensure your account isn't vulnerable to additional attacks and that someone cannot access it via other means like a recovery phone number or email address. Two, secure your other accounts because your Google account might be a gateway to accounts on other services and a hijacking can leave those vulnerable as well, which if true, that's impressive. Three, check financial activity to see if any payment methods connected to your account, like a credit card or Google Pay, were abused. It's like, what? They're going to do that? That's, again, sort of amazing. And then review content and files to see if any of your Gmail or Drive data was accessed or misused. So I can that, that seems a little more believable, but I have to say I'm impressed if, like, Google is saying that they're going to proactively check for for like transactions on your credit card or Google Pay. I mean, maybe it's your credit card through Google Pay, in which case yeah, that so would, what it, it would have to be one that you've you've given them the information of for right. Google Pay. So so if it right, right. So, so I can see if I go to my Google Pay account, I can see credit card receipts and stuff. Okay, yeah. okay. So that so they have visibility into that. Yes, that's right. So so basically it's stuff that you're there they, they would check for abuse of things that somebody who had your Google account Precisely. could abuse. Precisely. Right. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. 